Massive new update to the PGHL films allegations that have just been released, so let's get into it. So if you didn't know, I made a video two days ago basically covering the allegations levied against the popular Roblox animation YouTuber PGHL Films who has over 2 million subscribers. The initial callout statement was made by a Twitter user named Bo, and to summarize the accusations that PGHL Films was being accused of, he was being accused of posting animal and decomposition videos in a space filled with minors, allegedly making NSFW jokes with other minors when he was an alleged adult, allegedly revealing the full name and personal information of his haters and detractors, and allegedly PGHL Films essentially made Bo, the creator of the initial statement on him, feel really uncomfortable and feel sex in one apparent situation to do with Bo having a Discord profile picture of him in a bathing suit as PGHL Films was being accused of being overtly inquisitive about it. Now keep in mind, people have complained about me covering the situation and whined about it on Twitter when these are public allegations. In no way whatsoever have I made any inclination that these are real, hence why I've always said the word alleged when covering these situations and why the title even had a question mark on exposed inferring that there's a plausibility that it's not even true. And I literally had given PGHL Films the benefit of the doubt numerous times in my video, and I literally have every right to report on this public information, so the inference that I should be gatekeeped from covering this public information is pretty pathetic. Especially when these posts on me foster degenerates in the replies, who go on to harass and attack me merely for reporting on the news. Additionally, I have never made these allegations, I'm merely just reporting on them from an unbiased perspective, as on this channel we literally cover news topics and developing subjects. Anyone who makes the baseless claim that I made these allegations up is completely lying. But now we've got that disclaimer out the way, we'll cover the new information that came out alleviating a few of the allegations levied against PGHL Films. Now the original person who made the call out post against PGHL Films called Bo had to basically stop people from commenting under his posts as supporters of PGHL GHL films were basically attacking them, which I don't endorse whatsoever. Harassment in this situation to any party should be completely prohibited and should actively be avoided. As anyone who does that kind of stuff is just adding more fuel to the fire on an already serious situation. Now, Bo also followed up this whole situation with an update tweet to their initial callout stating, So I just found out a chunk of things I was told was untrue. The sister thing and half the NSFW jokes and the leaking people's information thing was all untrue. I was told by someone else these things and thought it was true because of the stuff I'd been through already. I'm so sorry. So before all the kids start coming out thinking that all the allegations are now faked, let me reiterate this by stating many allegations still remain undebunked. Now the allegations which Bo is referring to which are now according to them untrue is the alleged situation she brought up originally of PGHL Films being apparently weird with his sister which there was like no basis to this point whatsoever to begin with and of course the other situation which isn't true now is that PGH Films was quote unquote allegedly leaking haters personal information and finally the other situation they state is now fake is half of the NSFW jokes presented. However the allegations regarding PGHL Films posting animal decomposition death and sadist content still remains completely up in the air and has not been debunked. Along with their allegation that PGHL Films had allegedly sexualized them when they were a minor, along with how according to Bo, some NSFW jokes still have not been proven as false currently, as in their own words only half have been proved to be untrue. Also I'd like to give more information for further clarification that PGHL Films is turning 19 next month, so the claim that they quote unquote just turned 18 is untrue and proof was given by Bo that apparently she was indeed in contact with PGHL Films by showing the messages LEGO had apparently sent to them corroborated by his Discord tag with it stating PGHL Films full stop with his about me stating life is busy I won't be here for a while also keep in mind PGHL Films had made comments responding to this situation a couple days back where he stated whatever I did to the victims I'm sorry I need to apologize to them when I get back the last thing I 
I'd ever want to do is to hurt them. I must have acted weird at the time I messed up, I'm sorry. So with this comment, which seems to have been made by him, it seems to corroborate the narrative that he may have actually been in contact with Bo, and how he may possibly take accountability for the situation, as he claims he will apologize to them once he comes back. Now of course, don't go harass or attack anyone, especially not PGHL Films or Bo, but I have to ask this question about why Bo would decide, under any circumstance, to make a public post like this alleging very serious allegations against PGHL Films, based off in literally his own words that he was told by other people. So you know, they didn't actually verify any of the information originally, and just decided to fully go through with this statement with no verifiable proof whatsoever, and I have to say this certainly detracts the overall validity of their post regarding PGHL Films, and I have no idea why people don't fact check the information before they publicly propagate very serious allegations. Hey guys, it's Bo here. I thought I'd just talk a bit about a few things because I'm getting attacked pretty bad right now, um, as I've said before. Um, so I'm going to start off with like the age thing because people are like, oh, wouldn't he have been 17 at the time? Uh, even though he was still, you know, kind of newly an adult, he was turned 18 in April. I had turned 15 in August. This all happened in, I think, July or June of the summer. So he was an adult. I was, you know, still 14, which is pretty odd if you think about it. And he was definitely relying on me for, or not just me, but like people in the community to tell him what's right and wrong. And I think he should have been more informed. I had talk to him a lot like many times i've told him you have to be the adult in these situations but he never really like came up to that maybe once but really i can't think of a great example where he like gently like acted like the adult he took his place in the community and like stood up correctly instead of attacking literal kids um but i just think like why it felt so weird is because even if he wasn't mature for his age he was still an adult he still had plenty of time to think about it and he made a lot of like not, i'm not sure jokes but he said a lot of things like oh well if i make or i do this blah blah, blah i'll turn to a pet while yet he still made me uh and a few other minors uncomfortable and I just, it just puts me off, especially due to the fact, again, that I kept having to remind him that he's the adult in the situation. And, you know, he needs to kind of act his age. Um, about the whole bunny situation, yes, he might have actually not known that he was kind of discrediting me for this but like really having like that whole situation really put a bad effect on my mental health because she was my best friend for a year and you know i called her out because she said some bad things about people in the community i called her out because you know i didn't want lego or anyone else having someone talk behind their back um and, you know, she had been manipulating me quite a bit, and I was kind of done with it, but still, it was a friendship I was having trouble letting go of and letting go of it, and then everyone going to let go, being like, good job, you you really got rid of her, yay. Um, it just kind of, you know, felt like I got hit by a truck. I really hope I don't sound dramatic, but um, I just wanted to clear some things up. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me. Um, I honestly, I love you all. And um, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.
But anyway, that is all for the news updates today regarding this situation. If you did find this video very interesting and you want to be updated on this all, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And obviously, this video is not intended for cyberbullying, hate, or harassment. This is just an educational and informative video going over the entire situation as a whole. And also, watch my previous video for additional context on the entire situation. And I'll probably cover PGHL's response to everything when he does eventually make the video. But I'll see you all in the next video. And just remember, I did not make these allegations and I have every right to cover public drama. Goodbye.